This is the third episode in an ongoing series about the artist Wood Gaylor and American Modernism. I'm Alice Boone, Curator of Education and Public Programs at the Fleming Museum of Art. And I'm Andrea Rosen, the Curator. In this episode, we'll look at how Wood Gaylor was galvanized by the 1913 Armory Show in New York, which introduced European modernist and abstraction and cubism to Americans. We'll look at some of his early work from the period that imitates, but also reinterprets the work that he saw by Picasso, Matisse, and other painters during this fertile time for artistic experimentation. To begin, we're looking at Gaylor's abstract figure study, painted in 1915, two years after the momentous arrival of modern art in America. What makes it modernist? Often modern art is abstracted in some way. It's it's about a move away from a kind of strict realism. And this is Gaylor's, one of his most abstract works. The only recognizable shape is an unnaturally arched human figure without a head with unidentifiable shapes swirling around it. The overall balance of color and shape is more important than portraying a specific scene or figure. Gaylor had in some ways been preparing for these kinds of figure studies in his more traditional training before the Armory Show, right? Yes, he first took art classes at the National Academy of Design, a more conservative art school where he drew from plaster casts of of classical sculptures, a very traditional mode of studying the figure. We have several prints and drawings of nudes by Gaylor from a few years after he made abstract figure study. And even though in those he's returning to a somewhat more realistic depiction of the nude, he still plays with a creative arrangement of figures in space and the depiction of movement. Um, And in this, he may have been inspired by nude scenes he saw in the Armory show, such as Cezanne's Prince of Bathers. Cezanne used nudes as building blocks for the composition and and certainly non-idealized human forms. They're mainly shapes to build a composition out of and to experiment with mark making, and Gaylor does something similar, though he's more focused on outline. This is such a challenging way to see people in art. What was the Armory Show, and what were the reactions to these new radical approaches to form? The organizers of the Armory Show were trying to break from more traditional art institutions and wanted to show the most progressive American and European art, and this was the first exposure for many Americans to radical European abstract movements like Cubism. Gaylor's mentor, Walt Kuhn, was an organizer of the Armory Show, So Gaylor had two paintings included in the show and also helped out with the exhibition, including by acting as a tour guide and really being on the front lines to take in audience reactions. And those reactions were often quite extreme. People were were shocked, sometimes almost aggressive or or mocking of what they saw there. Um, This approach to the nude as as a contemporary form and as mainly an aesthetic form, a form for experimentation, was bold at the time. Cezanne's an example. And then here, this Gauguin painting is another example. Gauguin was was drawing on Tahitian figures and culture, um, maybe one might say exploitatively, to create what would have been a shocking image. I can start to see what Gaylor is picking up from these European artists. And it wasn't only Europeans who were influencing him. The American Arthur Davies was another organizer of the Armory Show. He showed some pastoral nudes in the Armory Show, sort of like Cezanne's. And he was also inspired by the cubism he saw there to create the mural dances, which Gaylor helped him enlarge. In dances, the nudes are once again compositional elements rather than narrative elements and and Davies experiments with breaking the form up into cubist planes and I think this work was an inspiration for abstract figure study. It feels like a moment when you can see this influence of modern dance and music onto these modernist paintings with these dynamic figures. Nijinsky's Rites of Spring Ballet with his Stravinsky score premiered in 1913 It did for music and dance what the Armory Show did for art. It shocked and disturbed people. What are some other examples of Gaylor's experiments from this exciting period? We don't know the locations of the Gaylor paintings he showed in the Armory Show, but we do have photos of similar works, and they were impressionistic landscapes. So we can see how, how quickly he departs from that in just a few years in response to the Armory Show. 
some examples. It, he, after the Armory show, he worked with a group called the Cooperative Mural Workshops, um, who were working to create modern art for public space. So here's a mural they created where, once again, somewhat abstracted nude figures in a pastoral landscape that is distorted. So taking that pastoral tradition and twisting it. Another example is uh, the series of wood panels, painted lightly carved panels that Gaylor did, including Rites of Spring. Once again, nudes are used as, as a compositional element to create the overall arrangement of space. With the brown and red nude figures in Rites of Spring, we're dancing around this idea of the primitive, an adjective that seems to cause as many problems as it solves in discussing modernism. Yeah, prim primitivism is a big topic, but to treat it somewhat briefly, we can turn to another Gaylor panel from this series, At the Gate. Here we see these red nudes on horseback. It's this sort of tribal scene, but, but not tied to any specific culture or group. It's just sort of generalized. Artists like Gaylor and Gauguin were drawing on so-called primitive cultures, both as subject matter and as aesthetic inspiration, in order to make that radical break with what were considered more highly developed Western academic styles. Gaylor was producing these works in a wide variety of media, styles, and scales within just a few years. The Armory Show clearly sent him searching for new and different ways of expressing himself, often through the nude figure. How did you come to understand this combination of influences and how it came to fruition in his later style? It's important to think about Gaylor's copying these other artists as not derivative, but as a way for him to work through the stimulus of the Armory Show, which many other artists were doing as well, to try these different styles, ultimately to come up with their own form of expressing themselves. And for Gaylor, that was his typical style of depictions of wacky parties in bright colors and flattened forms. Yes, they look different than his art post-Armory Show experimentations, but there's many through lines. So we talked about primitivism, and there's a way that his uh, party style is also kind of naive, um, or at least pretending to be naive. Instead of painting murals, he's depicting murals within the theatrical venues that he's portraying. And instead of an arrangement of nude figures, he's arranging costume figures, but that thinking through them as composition and movement is similar. Most of all, that freedom to take on the subject in a non-realist style very much came out of the jolt that the Armory Show provided. Uh -huh.